What's going on, y'all? It's Das, and I'm ready to open up a big fat can of whoop ass right here. In Red Dead Redemption 2, we're back with part 7 of the walkthrough, live right here on Twitch TV. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the chat. Thanks for coming through. So, from the last time we left off, I think we left off in a camp, but I did a little off stream edits to my boy Arthur Morgan. Now he is. Revolver Arthur Morgan. That boy is Revolver Ocelot right now. I was able to come back to Valentine without the foolishness. I went to the fence over by Rhodes, then I used the stagecoach, or rather the train, not the stagecoach. I used the train to fast travel over here. And after fast traveling, I was able to get my little customizations going. So it's a little better situation. No foolishness happened in Valentine this time around. I was able to get my customizations going and now we're back on Big Black and we're able to uh, to get started with some of these missions that we got going on right here. So we do got a couple of um, we got a couple of main missions. We also got this Albert Mason mission. That is the closest thing so we'll probably head to this first. So let's get over to our boy Albert Mason. Who's who's talking? What stranger's talking? I almost put you in front of God himself. Oh, I guess I cut him off, so he won't talk maggot. shit. What you gonna do about it, punk? All right, he's going away. I thought I heard Mickey behind me. So let's go see what Mickey wants to say. You me. I thought I saw Mickey on the map. I guess I didn't. All right, let's keep moving. <clears throat> so we're gonna head over to Albert Mason. And see what he's doing over there. Last time we saw him, he was dealing with some fucking wolves. That was no bueno. And wolves almost ate my ass smooth the fuck up. So we're gonna see what he's doing out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? That autosave menu always kinda messes me. Well, who are you trying to bury, son? Let Revolver Arthur. Revolver Morgan. I don't know which one sounds better. Let me put you in the dirt, baby. You want to ambush somebody. Damn, he's motherfucker. Lay your ass down. Ladies and gentlemen, give me one second. What's up, Papa Dallas? What's up, Leviathan? Give me one second to change the audio because I think my TV is way too loud. Give me one second. Alright, that should be good. I was hoping that, uh, that didn't come through the microphone too loud. Das, are you gonna do the gunslinger missions? Remember the guy that gave you photos. Oh, that's right. This motherfucker did give me photos. Photographs. I completely forgot about that mission. So do we have to look at all of these? Okay, we have to look at all of these. Flip them over. Now we can get the locations for these suckers. I, for I completely forgot about that entire mission strand. Because once you get it, you got to look at the photos to activate it. So now we got a whole bunch of other spots on the map now. Let's see what the nearest one is. We're still going to have to go to Albert Mason. Oh, this boy way north. Boy up in the woods and shit. So we can hit... Albert Mason. I think we should probably hit this motherfucker first. Emmett Granger. Then hit this Albert Mason. Down here to this bitch. Then we got these two suckers over here. It's going to be a while before I go back north to get that boy. But let's hit some of these uh some of these side missions right here. Who said that in the chat? Iceberg. Thanks for the reminder, dog. I completely forgot about that shit. Alright, so... This motherfucker just came in here trolling, so let me just, uh, hit you with one of them. Let 
maybe you'll stop acting like a fucking dumbass for attention. Should've just banned your bitch ass, but I'll let you hold out for a quick minute. Put your ass in timeout. Maybe you'll get a little bit of maturity when your ass is in timeout. Stop trying to be fucking annoying. What's up, Oday696? Welcome to the chat. Get out the middle of the road, punk. There will be Blood79, man. Welcome to the chat. Lord DJ58, what's up? What's up? Yeah, let me see if I can cut across. Can I cut across the grass right here? Yeah, let me see if I can just cut across. The mini map. And the GPS is taking me all the way around, but I think I can just cut across and get down right here. And visit this target. What's up, sucker? Emmett Granger. Revolver Morgan's rolling up on your bitch ass. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Them days are long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. I ain't shoveling your shit, dog. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, I don't oh, even really are. get to make the choice. Pick up the fork and get to I would have just hogtied him and get interrogated his punk ass, but the game's making time. me shovel his shit. Right. I'm the motherfucking sheriff of Rhodes. They got me shoveling shit. this bullshit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals? I even killed rocks. How the fuck you kill a I rock? Killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. I'm gonna hey, throw this shit on you, punk. Can I throw this shit on him? Boy over here talking shit, thinking he tough or something. Don't Talk about all the shit he did. You can't do that to me. Don't get your motherfucking ideas up, punk. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Man, I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girlie. By a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. How about you eat a dick? No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. Alright. No boy think he tough. He think he's here. somebody. Comes from hungry hogs. What's up, no Trevo? Uh, uh, hell. Uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? 
Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book. Hey, hey, what about the whoop his ass? No government witness. <laughs> oh, he look at him showing his true colors. Yellowy Punk bitch. Was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girly. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, I got dynamite well, just sitting on the table. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick. No, it's about to be yo shit, punk. Let me stick this you shit in this away. goddamn dynamite. Now. This dynamite and this shit. Got that mixed up a little bit. There you go. Let's sort this motherfucker out. He want to talk shit, not give me my motherfucking no. stories. No. No. You didn't know. Ugh. God damn. You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killer. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw. That boy got shit in his mouth. God damn. You gonna die with shit in your mouth, punk? This motherfucker try to throw a knife at me? Dumb son of a bitch. Fuck you doing? Boy's popping all that good shit about how he's a killer, how he killed rocks, how he scalped people, and he died like a bitch. Let me take a picture of your bitch ass. For the book. Dead hoe. Look at him, look at him. Shit in his mouth. That's how he died. Click. And I'ma take your fucking revolver, punk. And what you got on you? I had a platinum pocket watch. And I'm gonna kill your punk ass pigs for making me shovel a fucking shit. I'm eating bacon tonight, motherfuckers. I'm eating bacon tonight, motherfuckers. Punk ass pigs. The only Granger I like is the porn star Kimmy Granger. I like me some Kimmy Granger. <laughs> me that motherfucking hog meat got that pig hide I'm skinning all these little motherfuckers I'm gonna shovel your shit this motherfucker ain't even gonna give me a story go into the cabin you can get a gift for Sadie no we gotta go in there and see if we can get a gift for Sadie Let me put this on Big Black. Oh, Big Black needs to be brushed down. He's been standing in... Wow, he ain't even Big Black. He's like Big Brown. Let me brush you up real quick, Big Black. That boy looking dirty as a motherfucker. There. Standing in this goddamn pig farm. Now he's looking like Big Black. Coat looking nice and clean. Look at this punk motherfucker. Piece of shit. Oh, where you going? <laughs> Where you going, Arthur? What the fuck? I was trying to climb up on top of the porch. I guess you just need to walk up the stairs. I'm nigga, fuck your lock. Kia, bitch. What's up in this hole? Let's search this motherfucker. What's good, passionate game? Welcome to the chat. Oh, here we go. We got some more shit over here. Oh, that's a harmonica we need to get for our girl, Mrs. Adler. There we go. Alright, let's go pick up the rest of these hides. Let's see if there's anything else around here we can steal. Oh, we got some... Is there some shit over here on the ground I can take? I thought I saw some shit glowing. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Oh, there's Big Black. Nice and close. Uh oh, what is this on the map? We got some red dots on the map. Bunch of bitch-ass bounty hunters coming for me. Let's go. Revolver Morgan is ready for a fight. Let me pick up some more pig hide. Put this on Big Black. They want to come yum yum get themselves some. They absolutely can. I'm in the mood for murder, baby. As a matter of fact, I'll meet you suckers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got the wrong revolver. Let me put his whack revolver away. Let me get my, uh, my cattleman back. 
All right, let's go. Got my dual cattlemen's. My souped up joints. Let's put these suckers in the dirt. Oh boy. I need cover. These boys on horseback taking me out a little bit. They took my health down a lot, real quick. Ow, bitch. Fuck your horse, nigga. Fuck your life, punk. Little tactical retreat right there. Watch out, big black. You're in the combat zone, baby. Revolver Morgan putting bullets in asses. Let's do this. Fuck out of here, punks. The fuck out of here, punks. Thought they was gonna run up and collect some motherfucking money. That's not even how you bounty hunt somebody. You're supposed to take him in alive, get your money. And just trying to assassinate me for no motherfucking reason. Give me your goodies. Give me your motherfucking goodies. What's up, Lexi Poo? Welcome to the chat. Damn, this place is a popular ambush spot. I didn't even know. I was just over here for that fucking mission. Bounty hunters coming after my ass. I'm trying to get my good pig hides. Big Black just bumped the shit out of me. That boy stay on my ass. That boy is loyal. Look at him. He right behind me still. Look at him. Look at him. I love Big Black. That's my boy. That's my motherfucking boy. I'm going to stay looting the rest of these suckers, though. They're going to run up on me. They're going to give me their goodies. Give me your motherfucking goodies. All right. I think I got everybody. Got me a gold pocket watch. All right, come on, Big Black. All right, so we took care of that little side mission. We got uh, Granger. We got his pistol. Where are we going to next? We are heading to... Uh... Oh, I thought there was an Albert Mason mission. I guess the time has passed where we can't do it right now. So I guess we're heading straight to the Black Bell. Let's see what this one is all about. Hopefully she doesn't try to bust me like this motherfucker did. Hopefully I ain't got to shovel shit for her punk ass either. What's my opinion on Red Dead Online? I really haven't played too much of it, but I feel like it's going to be a lot of uh, what GTA Online is. A lot of uh, a lot of foolishness, you know what I mean? The free room foolishness and a lot of incentivizing for the microtransactions. I've been reading a couple articles, even though I haven't really played a lot of it. About how the economy's all fucked up because they're trying to push their microtransactions. I feel like it's going to be more of that. But uh, Rockstar was tweeting out how they were going to change the economy. So maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll be better than that. But you know they're trying to get their little gold bars or shark cards or whatever the fuck they got going on. Some people are saying there's not enough content there. It's still in its beta form. Maybe I might... Um, I didn't finish my little uh, Red Dead Online series of doing all the missions, the Stranger missions, the, um, the story missions. So maybe I can finish that and then wait until the full game comes out. Gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? What are you Please? doing, sucker? Got a goddamn... I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Goddamn criminal on the run. If you try to steal my horse, your ass is done. Easy enough. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but... I think I might got something even better. There's a fella told me about a big farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere, loaded up with valuables ripe for the taking. If you're in Rhodes, you head north and then east. There's a fella there who raises pigs. Oh yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. All right, so we got us a home robbery tip. There's still a lot of shit we got to do. Home robbery. We got the pig farm and the Watson's cabin. This house north of Rhodes. The word is that there might be valuables inside. North of Strawberry. So I think we're north of Rhodes already. Does that pop up on the mini map? 
I don't even think it does. I guess it's like a free roam thing that doesn't pop up on the minimap, like a chance encounter. Just like that stranger was. <clears throat> yep. Sheriff whoop ass. My boy, uh, my boy Revolver Morgan is still a... He's not the sheriff, he's the deputy of Rhodes, but... He might as well be the sheriff. He'd be whooping all types of ass. <clears throat> you just signed up for Twitch so you can watch me stream? I appreciate that. Make sure you hit the, uh... The follow button below the stream so you can be notified of every time I go live right here on Twitch. I do tweet on Twitter when I go live and I upload a YouTube video when I go live, but it's always good to follow at the source so you get that first notification. Alright, so we're over here in Lemoyne, into the girl Black Bell. Uh oh, what is this? What is this? More bounty hunters? What is this? These motherfuckers keep ambushing my ass. Let's do it. Let's do it like Brutus on a Sunday motherfucking morning. Let me get my shoddy for the body out. Let me get my shoddy for the body out, son. I just be trying to go about my life. Do my little missions. These motherfuckers stay ambushing my ass. Come get some. Come get some. Oh, big black, no! Big black! You bastards! You bastards! Big black, no! On your feet, my boy. On your feet, my boy. You're alright. You're alright. I'll take care of you. I always will, baby. On your feet, you're good. That's my boy. Let me feed you up. Let me get your cores back to normal. I got some goodies for you. I got some goodies for you. That's my boy. Big Black, he went down. But he's a tough motherfucker. He's a tough motherfucker. Oh, Bonding Max. Bonding Max. Brought him back to life and he loves me for it. Love you right back, Big Black. Alright, let me get back up on you. Big Black went down, but he's back up. Yep. He went down, but he's back up. What's this on the minimap? Okay, there. I think I killed somebody's horse. We'll revive this horse. That'll help you. I wasted a special horse revive on this horse. I should have saved it for Big Black, honestly, but, um... I ain't mean to shoot that horse. So we'll put him back on his feet. And we'll let him go on about his life. He was yeah. ridden by an asshole in the battle. I ain't mean to shoot him. So we'll get him back on his hooves, if you will. Let him go on about his life. That was merciless. These motherfuckers came and tried to kill my horse. Is this Black Bell or something else? What's this right here? Slow it up. Got turkeys in the goddamn wilderness? What is this? What is this? Oh, this is a pretty pickle. Hey, what's going on, sucker? What the devil are you looking at? I'm looking at your bitch ass. I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. What the fuck? Face paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Shit, I'll shoot you for My you. Animals, they escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. 
a fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores Ongo of Ongo Bongo? And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is, I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's is he? Bloody Margaret, not madam. Fucking Margaret, is he? Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Fucking Margaret, transgender, transsexual. What's going on here, son? All right, so that. What's going on here? Okay, so that's Margaret's mission. We're right here next to um. I think this one is closer. So we're gonna do the Black Bell mission. Should we do? Let's up. We started it. Let's finish it. We can always finish Black Bell. We started it. Let's finish it. Come on now, boy. They're pretty much at the same distance away. Let's go find his lion, tiger, and zebra. This motherfucker. How the fuck are you gonna try to be a woman with a big, thick ass mustache on? Who the fuck are you trying to fool? some freaks in Red Dead Redemption, man. I think I said that in the last video. Like, the random characters, the strangers, the side characters, the main characters, they're all... Are we... Are you fucking serious? Again with these goddamn bounty hunters, man? Just trying to get my missions done. Here we go again. Shotgun time. Let me get my, uh... Let me get my shit straight. And you know what? Oh, I... I was about to use some dynamite. I ain't got no more dynamite. All right, let's go. I gotta try to protect Big Black. Shotgun puts in work, baby. Fuck out my face, son. Let me do my missions. Whack motherfuckers. Damn, that boy was screaming. The fuck you get, punk? Give me your goodies. The platinum buckles. These motherfuckers be running up, but they have a lot of goodies on them. I need to hit the fence. As soon as I get the chance. These motherfuckers be having that good shit. They be having two, three, four, five dollars on them. This boy had a dollar sixty-six, but they be having them buckles, them rings. All types of that good shit. That good, good shit. I'll take your bullets. Yeah, I definitely need to hit a, a fence when I can. <clears throat> Alright, this stranger mission is right here, so, uh, come on, Big Black. Let me try to activate it before these bounty hunters try to get my ass again. Alright, so we got a zebra in this area. Is that it? The fuck? I think I need to get on Big Black. Let's go, boy. I'll be able to cover more ground quicker. Alright, let me see if I can follow some of these trails. We got a goddamn zebra to find. Oh, here we go. Is that him? Okay. Easy, what the easy. fuck? What they oh, he's running, you punk! I was gonna try to calm him. You wanna run, punk? Oh, God! Did I kill him? Whoops, my bad, Big Black. I didn't think he was gonna stop like that. It's a goddamn donkey! Are right, you all right, Big Black? Big Black's uh, stamina's not looking great, and he's dirty. I'm a, my bad, Big Black. You've been having a bad episode. Let me hook you up some oat cakes. Don't you run, punk? Don't you run, punk? Oh, 
Don't hit him. Don't fucking shoot him. This goddamn donkey's got me going crazy. Get your punk ass over here, donkey. This is a goddamn zebra donkey. See, this is what happened last time. This motherfucker cut across. Yo, Big Black is not doing too well. His stamina's not looking great. I thought I just hit him with that oat cake. Can I calm the donkey down? I don't know. I want to release him so I can... Let me release him so I can get... Oh, I guess that's not, um... Like, what's... Every time I don't have the zebra lasso, Big Black's stamina and health is looking pretty good. But when I let the zebra go, or when I capture the zebra, his stamina is not great at all. I guess that might be the zebra's stamina. This zebra keep getting fucked up by cutting across the Big Black. You a little motherfucker, you gonna get killed the next time that shit happens again. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Alright, let's go. That big back crushes him again. That's gonna be it. I'm gonna fail a mission. I can see it happening already. I think this might be the donkey stamina. Oh, did I lose him? Did I make him hit a tree? What is going on? There we go. Get your ass over here, Zebra. This mission is ugly, man. Yeah, this definitely might be the Zebra's stamina and health. Because his shit is all fucked up. You gotta stop cutting across the big black. You're gonna get fucked up. Your health ain't looking all that great, Mr. Zebra. Your health ain't looking all that great, Mr. Zebra. Big Black is too damn big and too damn black. What be happening in this motherfucker? I keep losing him. Catch up, bitch. I guess Big Black is too fast for him. He can't keep up in the lasso breaks. I don't know what be going on with this dumbass donkey. Bring your ass, donkey. Bring your fucking ass. It's just a donkey, idiot. Yep. Let me see if I can move him through these damn trees. This is an ugly fucking mission, man. I lost him again. Oh, here we go. Come on, donkey. Let's see if I can get this motherfucker back to Margaret as quick as possible. This shit is foolishness right here. Boy got me chasing down donkey, donkey zebras. You found him, our zebra. <laughs> well, you can't call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the An senses. illusion, it's bullshit. Comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. The allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning? There, Look at that fucking donkey, in man. Arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary. It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. You selling well, bullshit. As long as, <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment. Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right. I'll see what I can do. All right, let's go find the rest of your bullshit fucking animals. There's going to be two more. We got a tiger handler. All right, let's see how far out that is. What is this mission right here? This is the Margaret mission? All right. And the Albert Mason mission is back. We got a lot of 
side missions right here. This one is a stranger. Inside of Rhodes. There's a lot of shit to do in Rhodes. And then we got the midnight mission. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue with, um, what's her name? Margaret. What's his name? What's her name? This motherfucker got me confused now. I don't know what to call him. Transgender, transsexual, car stressor. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, but Big Black is looking good. So I guess that was the donkey's health meter. That boy was getting fucked up, or he was fucked up. Alright, Big Black. Let's see if we can hit this next Margaret mission without any bounty hunters getting on our ass again. Bounty hunters are chasing my ass down, man. I'm damn sure not paying off any of those fucking bounties. They can keep coming. And I'll keep killing them. Well, I think I got like a $500 bounty in one state. $200 bounty in the next state. I don't even really rem I remember how I got the $500 bounty. That was the foolishness in Valentine. But the other shit? I don't even really know. Motherfuckers can keep coming, though. I ain't got a problem with it. Damn sure I ain't got a problem with it. Come yum yum, get yourself some. Alright, here's the next Margaret mission. Right over here. Where are you? What's up, sucker? Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, you weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a, a certain A dog light, lion? You never tell. Sounds about right. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. Ah, right, come on, puppy. This entire motherfucking show they got going on is a bunch of bullshit. Oh, there's the trail. I got it. I got the trail. These are paw prints. I think I lost the trail a little bit. Here we go. Looks like like blood to me. Uh oh, what happened to the puppy? Well, what's this? Wait, what do you say? What's this for? Some on this tree. There's a lot of blood on that fucking tree. What happened to the puppy? Uh oh. Puppy's not doing too good. Uh oh. I think I see the puppy. The fucking. Look at this! Found your dog! X dog X line. Hey, boy! Oh. He ain't doing too well. I think a cougar took him. Uh oh. That'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. That's fucked up, Arthur. This poor little puppy that got it. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. Alright. This poor little puppy. Got a goddamn lion mane on. Grubs up. Now we're gonna use him as bait. For a fucking cougar lion. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars what the fuck dogs. is going on with this it, it fucking? Ain't what you got in this life? It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you, especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, 
I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was fresh. Look at this shit. Look at this. How the fuck did you paint the cougar? Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let me pull out a gun, just in case this goes badly. A fucking tiger eating the lion. This bullshit ass goddamn circus, man. Alright. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. That cougar is okay. snacking, man. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. What the fuck I is going know. on, son? Since they was close and all. The poor dog? Yeah, you damn right, man. That boy getting munched on. Sheriff Arthur Morgan. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this fact? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and you can probably tell in this field he's the ace of spades. Is he? He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope one day to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up in that something. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be the female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful, or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here looking for any kind of landmark when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good! Jolly good! You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal... You're gonna That's actually a good paint job for that cougar. Scrappy ate King, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway line, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But I can't <laughs> What the fuck? Jury, you got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So that boy Arthur always got money on the mind. It's my type of dude. Alright, let's go find his fucking lion. What is this gonna be? Another fucking cougar. But I see that in the cutscene. Arthur definitely needs to head to a barber to... Maybe not even the barber, maybe just back to camp to fix up his, whatchamacallit, his facial hair, because it's getting a little scruffy. But let's go take care of this goddamn lion. Or whatever. Whatever the fuck animal this fitting to be. The dog wasn't the missing lion. I thought we only had three animals. But now there's a fake lion, there's another lion. This shit's probably gonna be a goddamn bear or something. Here we go. 
Right on top of this shit. All the goddamn bounty hunters, man. I'm trying to do a mission. Come on, son. Come on. Come get some. Stupid motherfuckers. Come on. Get some. Come on. You ain't killing shit, bitch. Shoddy work, shoddy work, punks. Shoddy work, punks. Where you hiding at, punk? The fuck your head at, bitch? Where's your head at, bitch? This motherfucker should be running up on me. I was right outside the goddamn mission area. And it's still locked. I guess I gotta leave the area first. Man, I was right outside of this shit, man. These fucking bounty hunters. I'm still not paying off the bounty. I'm going to be hard-headed. I ain't paying off the fucking bounty. We still got to suck on the map right here. Oh, it's a train. Why is this motherfucker on the train on my mini-map? He wants to get popped. Let's pop his punk ass. Maybe I can kill this motherfucker and open up that mission. The Albert Mason mission is right here to my left, but I want to finish this series first. Alright, that's taken care of. Let me pop out the map one more time, see if this mission's opened up again. Everything's looking good. We're going to finish this Margaret Strand, then we can head to Albert Mason, because he's right here. Then from Albert Mason, we can uh, go to the Black Bell, so we can finish the, um, the Jim Boy Calloway Strand as well. It's a lot of shit to do in this game. And it's just made longer by the fact you gotta deal with bounty hunters every two minutes. What's up, fellas? Replenish my motherfucking health and my dead eye, cause. Goddamn bounty hunter. Pieces of shit. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I Get said, out the way, punk. Step aside. These boys are scared shitless, though. I don't think this a motherfucking dog. I don't think this a motherfucking dog. Yeah, boy. Oh boy. Come here, boy. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think this is a motherfucking dog. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. I didn't do that. Uh oh. Uh, I'll take care of this. Will I? Watch out, Mr. Cow. How did he do all of this this quick? What the fuck? There's blood all over the place. Fuck. Oh fuck. No, no. It's a real goddamn lie. What the fuck? Easy boy. Easy. Shit. Oh Jesus! They got me! Yo, 
ago, so I'd be having mad bad luck with these goddamn animals. The motherfucker slapped my throat and killed my ass. I guess that's how he did that damage real quick. I went down like a bitch. I shot him in the face 13 times. What did I do different this time? What the fuck? Alright. Bitch ass lion. Miskin your punk ass. Hey, he dead as a motherfucker. He bullshitted me last time. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Oh, he definitely does. I'm about to see his punk ass right now, Mr. Farmer. Alright, so we're gonna go back to Margaret. God damn. Punk ass goddamn. Is this him right here? Yeah, we go back to Margaret, Black Bell, then come back north for Albert Mason. What the fuck was that? How the hell did he get me the first time? I shot him in the face as many times as I did on the second go-around. I guess it's two times for me with these goddamn animals in Red Dead. Let me loot this punk sucker. Lion got him, but I'll take his salted venison. And the fence should be right here, but the icon's not up. I guess because of the mission, he scurried away. I'd have liked that opportunity to come over here and sell some shit, but I guess we can come back here when we're going to Albert Mason. Let's get to, let's head to Margaret and complete this strand. He is the king, the king of the jungle, the king of bullshit, really. Motherfucker, one hit my throat, slashed me the fuck up, took my ass out. Like I was a full-on HK punk and stuff. I legit only got a $50 bounty in Lemoyne. They stay coming after my ass. Yeah. Punk ass goddamn bounty hunters always delaying shit. Running up just to get fucked up. Let me make sure I got something. How many horse revivers do I have? I only got one. Only got two. So Big Black can go down twice. I need to head to the shop. Or maybe the, uh, the horse stables to pick up some more. I think that was the first time Big Black has ever gone down, but I definitely want to have all those revivers on hand. Seeing as these punk ass bounty hunters keep trying to attack my... This time the animal was actually real, you moron! Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for- You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I <laughs> A knew. goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand. And they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? Shot his bitch I ass. I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. It was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is. You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. Well, that shit looks as good. As that shit looks shiny. I like it. As clear as the Amazon. It's probably and bullshit, as dear though. As all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here. This boy got Daddy issues. What the fuck? Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I will keep you. So long. So long, Mr. Morgan. See you, sucker. Can you see me? I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. All right, mission complete. What kind of fucking foolishness? A real goddamn lion, man. Oh, I got a bronze on that one. But there is no objectives. I wonder how I got a bronze. All right, fuck it. I guess it really doesn't matter. 
Oh, I was using the double action revolver. This is not my cattleman revolver. That's what happened. Why the fuck did they give me the double action? I should have dual cattlemans. When did that happen? Hey, All right. Boy. That's probably why I got slashed up. I was using a, using a weaker pistol. So fucking more bounty hunters, son. All right, let's hit the black bell. We'll take care of these bounty hunters and uh, see what Miss Black Bell is up to. Yep. <laughs> fucking lions and cougars and what kind of fucking foolishness were they on? Y'all dying for fifty dollars, huh? Fifty dollar bounty, y'all came, huh? Lay your bitch ass down, ho. Fuck out my face. I guess the higher the bounty is, the more suckers come. Because there was only three guys there. I've definitely attacked and been attacked by more people. Alright, let's go see what Black Bell is on about. You can't believe that he had a fake tiger, a fake zebra, and a real lion. I don't know what that boy was on about at all. That boy was bullshitting from the beginning. I don't think a word he said was true. I don't know what that... He gave me a little... What was it? A diamond or an emerald? What is this over here? We got a smokestack. What's going on over here? A little homestead we can rob? What's going on, sucker? You there. Got an explanation why you're here? I'm here to rob here your bitch now. ass. Damn! Uh oh, we got suckers. We got suckers. Came here to rob your shit, punks. Came here to rob your shit. What you got up in here for me? Got some goodies. Let's take what they got. What's up, Revengeful15? Welcome to the chat. That diamond is as real as a boy is a female. Yeah, everything about that dude was on some bullshit. Everything about him. He was a man, woman, wrangler with fake animals. He did have a real, whatchamacallit. Where's my canned veggies at? Is this the veggie? Let me eat these beans, see if I can take some more beans. Yeah, beans are vegetables. Alright, what else we got up in this house? It always pays to run up in people's house and take their shit. Your honor's gonna take a hit, but I need all these provisions. Some of these motherfuckers might have goodies. Alright, I don't need no motherfucking cigarettes. Alright, so we searched that sink. I think we're all good up in this spot. Let's get the hell up out of here. Let me loot this punk over here. And we're gonna keep it moving. Head to our girl. What you running up on me, Mr. Pig? They gonna eat him! That's right, pigs be eating whatever you put in front of them. You put a dead body in a pigsty, they'll eat that shit. That boy gonna get eaten. Yeah. Let's get out of here, Big Black. Yep. Oh, what's this behind me? What's this behind me? What's chasing me? What's chasing me? Why was that? Why was that dog chasing me? I thought that was like a cougar or something. Fuck that dog. It's all right, big black. That little puppy ain't gonna get you. Well, I like dogs, but don't be chasing me in no motherfucking video game. You'll get fucked up. You're a good boy. That boy was chasing my ass down. He's gonna try to bite me up. What you doing, dog? Is he dead? Let me just see what you got on you. Boy just passed out. Alright. I don't know what the fuck that is. That boy had four gold teeth. Took your teeth, sucker. 
don't know what the fuck that was, but I will take what goodies you got on you. I'm going to keep it moving. I don't even know what the fuck that was. That boy was just dead as shit. Fair enough. Let's keep moving and grooving. See what the Black Bell is all about. Alright, Big Black. Let me let you off. You there? Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. They've been chasing my ass for a while now. Out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, that'd be a wasted time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell. This bitch is crazy. She about to blow some people up. Here. Where's Big for Black at? Or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, Big Black is safely off oh, the premises. Alright. That's fine. Let's blow some suckers up then. Stop just there. Now. Alright, let's blow these fools up. He's so dead. Oh, they're gonna die. They're gonna die. Oh, this bitch must have a crazy bounty on her. Damn, she got him. Oh, this plunges all over the place. Whoa! Come on, quickly, Arthur, quickly. Do it! I guess I can't do it. I was trying to detonate the plunger to get this guy in the turret, but... Sit your ass down, ho. Alright, maybe I can detonate it now. Do it! There we go. Oh, he going for the Gatlin? He ain't going for shit. God damn! You got them scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, I'll take a picture ready? of it. How do you want me? Like this? How do I want you? Girl, you better watch how you phrase things. Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. 
Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck. <laughs> all right, that was a hell of a mission. Black Bell. Oh, I guess I shot a horse. My bad, horsey. Take your nap, though. Let me see what you got in your saddlebags. So she wasn't as much of an asshole as Mr. Granger was. I was able to fight with her, even though she was pointing a gun at me for most of the fucking time when I rolled up on her goofy ass. So we're going to loot these suckers, see what they got up on them. See if I can get some goodies. Motherfuckers rolled up on me with a goddamn Gatlin gun. This bitch had a hell of a bounty on her head. Maybe I should have captured her ass and took her in. Motherfuckers rolled up with a Gatlin gun. They better not roll up on me with no goddamn Gatlin gun. Because bounty hunters be chasing my ass down. Well, let me see what these fuckers got up in their pockets. Let me get some goodies. Everybody of Callaway's crew is exposing him as a bitch. A lot of that history of the gunslinger is a lot of bullshit, so I guess that boy Callaway was bullshit. <clears throat> boy's got money on him, son. Let me get my money up. Let me hope there's not too many alligators and shit out here in this goddamn swamp. This girl Black Bell is living in a shithole. get all these suckers. Let me get all these suckers. I should have known that this mission was going to be on some craziness when the mission started. They put both the bolt action rifle and the um the repeater on my back. I should have known I was in for a goddamn fight, but I ain't know it was going to be like this. I appreciate it though. I appreciate a good can of whoop ass to be opened up every now and again. Alright, so I think I can get this guy, and I think he might be the last guy that I need to loot. Then I'm going to search her little shack. <clears throat> see what goodies she got up in here that she might have left behind. Let me make sure there ain't nothing out here first. Let's see what she got up in this spot. Got cigarette cards. What else we got up in here? All right, she got a chest. Let's see what's up in this chest. I be full on them veggies, man. I need to eat my veggies more often. I guess I can't get up in that. Let's get up in this drawer. I'm full on cigarettes, full on veggies. There's a lot of shit I can't carry. Full on biscuits. Like this is what I was talking about with the difference between Red Dead Online and the the single player is I'm already full on a lot of this stuff and if I needed to go to the to the general store to buy some of it, the prices aren't too crazy. In Red Dead Online, there's not a lot of resources to get. I feel like there's not a lot, and if you need to go buy them at the store, they cost way too much and you don't make a whole lot of money. You see I got a lot of money, $888. It's not hard to make money in the single player because there's no uh, microtransactions that you can buy. Did I just run that fucking bird over? <laughs> I ran the bird over. I didn't even mean to kill him. I was just running to my horse. Come here, little pigeon. A fucking truck stick, hit stick rather, the goddamn, ho I keep calling it a horse, hit stick the goddamn bird, killed that shit on impact. Alright. So what are we doing next? What are we doing next? Let's, uh, let's head north over here to Albin Mason. Then what do we got next? The next closest thing is the midnight mission over here in Rhodes. Alright. Let's get it done.
Got that bird meat. Let's get the yeah. fuck out this nasty ass swamp, big black. Shit giving me the hives. I'm starting to break out. Last time I came across this bridge, the motherfucker was on a horse and he just died for no reason. I don't really know what that little side... I guess it's not nothing. That little uh, random interaction right there. This boy died right here on this road. Fell off his horse. Didn't look like it was a part of anything bigger than that, but... Fuck it. If it is, I guess I just missed it. This was the ranch that just came over here and just murdered people at for their goodies. I'm an asshole. I'm not a great person. <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. Oh! The fuck? I guess it was a rock or something I didn't see. The boy Big Black went flying. See if I could just cut across the field right here. Trying to make a straight path towards our boy Albert Mason. What's this? What's this over here? What's this tent? What's this tent in the middle of nowhere with goodies all around? Let me steal some goodies. I'll take that hair pomade. I wonder if you can sell cigarettes. If I can sell cigarettes, I might be able to make some money. Got that fruit. We got some oat cakes for our boy Big Black. Alright, I think we got everything beside the, uh... Is there something that's supposed to be over here? It's the random tent out in the middle of nowhere. What? Let's just take some shit and keep it moving. I don't... I don't understand how people can play this and have good honor. There's always shit to steal. There's always assholes fucking with you. I think you just gotta have good self-control, which I do not have in any way, shape, or form. I guess that's my motherfucking problem. Well, it looks like Big Black needs to be uh, cleaned. Looks like his health core is going down. Let me hook you up, Big Black. Let me hook you up. Let me brush you. Keep you nice and fresh. Fresh and clean, baby. You all right? You all right? Got more bounty hunters coming up on me. I stopped for two seconds to do a goddamn good deed for my horse. Now they want to come get my ass. Come get some then. Come get some then. Where's my shotty? Where's my shotty at? All right, come on. Let's do this. They want it. Let's do it. Get the fuck out of my face, punk. Get out of here, big black. Get the safety, baby. Get the fuck out of my face, bitch! What are you doing? Fuck out of here, boy! Boy gonna run away from me. How you on the horse? You running away, bitch? Where the fuck your head at, punk? Where's the fuck your head at, punk? I fucking love the shotgun. The shotgun with the dual revolvers, those are my go-to's. Shotgun takes heads off. I'm rocking the revolver Morgan look with the dual revolvers. I love it. I motherfucking love it. Oh, I can hit this uh this fence real quick. Try to make some money. Look at this boy's missing fucking head, boy. There's a lot of headless motherfuckers. They keep running up on me with that shoddy. Usually it's shoddy for your body. It's shoddy for your motherfucking head in this goddamn game right here. A big fat can of whoop ass in Red Dead 2. That's exactly what it is. These boys keep running up for it. If they were half as smart as they think they are, they try to run the other way. These boys be dying for... What's my bounty in this day? I think it's like a five... Yeah, it's a $500 bounty. That's a significant bounty. But I wouldn't die for $500. No siree. I can't even access the goddamn fence now. Yeah, I started shooting up in the area. Now I can't access the fence. I guess we have to do this Albert Mason mission. 
Then maybe while we're coming back to uh, go down south for roads, we can access the fence afterwards. But let's do this mission for Albert Mason while we're here. Move. Emerald Ranch sees a whole lot of fucking action. Between the mission with the lion, goddamn bounty hunters every 12 minutes, all types of foolishness goes down in the Emerald Ranch. Here he goes, right over here. This boy about to get eaten by alligators, isn't he? So, you're still alive. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant. Although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> you might. Alright, come on, Big Black. Let's go get these damn horses. Yeah. Albert Mason is like the one guy that Arthur Morgan likes. He just does random things to help him out out of the kindness of his heart. Even though my Arthur is not that damn kind. He just be helping Albert Mason out. In every type of foolish endeavor that he has. Shit. You alright, Big Black? You good? You good? That's my boy. Yeah. Alright, you dumb ass horses. What are we doing with them? I guess we're herding them back towards, uh, to the boy Albert. I've never really been a big fan of the herding. But it's not too terribly difficult. I gotta sell these pelts in the back of Big Black as well. There's a lot of shit that I need to get rid of. Between the fence stuff and the... The pelts. I guess I can do both of those while I'm heading back towards roads. Go, go! Let's make you all famous. Aiming aim the gun pointed in the air. Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not pulling the gun out. Because the second I pull a gun out, it's the second I accidentally shoot all these goddamn horses. I see that shit happening from a mile away. We're just going to shout at him. Yeah. Good Mustang. Come on. Now run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on. <laughs> I got it. I got it. All right, Albert. Helped you get your shot. It's good, sucker. You are a genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so, how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing! Here, I have. A print of the wolves before they tried to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. All right, let's take a look at this picture. Now, for a few final checks. That actually looks pretty cool. I don't think that's how that went down in the mission. I think they were a little bit more spread out than that. I may be at this for but uh, that's a good looking picture. Alright, so we took care of the Albert Mason mission. Let's mount up on Big Black. Okay. Let's see where our next stop is going to be. The fence is now open again. Uh, we do have this stagecoach that we can ride. We do have this mission all the way up here, son. That is one hell of a fucking trek. I don't know when I'll ever be all the way up there like that. Let's fucking take care of it. That is a hell of a fucking journey. 
I guess we can ride the train to Wallace Station. We can sell our uh, sell our goodies at the ranch. Come back to the station, and then ride it to Wallace. And then from there we can go to see what this sucker's all about. So I guess that'll be the plan. We'll take care of all the side stuff before we head back to Rhodes and continue on with the with the story. So let me hit the fence real quick. Sell some goodies. And then we'll head to the mountains to continue with the Jim Boy Calloway strand. That boy all the way up in the fucking mountains. I kind of wish that this game had the Red Dead Redemption, the original... Uh, what do you call it? The fast travel feature? Where you could just open a, open your camp up. This boy got four silver teeth. Let me get my money up. Oh, that's <laughs> the fucking emerald from Margaret. We gonna save that. It's a unique item, too. We gonna save that. Do I need ground coffee? Alright, so we got all the stuff that we need. We got our cigarette cards. I think we need to save those because we got that, um... We got that side mission where we need to get all the cigarette cards for that random jabroni. So we'll keep all our cards, even though we can't sell them. Alright, so we sold our goodies. Got our money up. Sitting at over $1,000. Oh my god! Y'all ain't see nothing. Come on, y'all ain't see nothing, man. It was an accident! I gotta kill this entire ranch so I don't get a fucking bounty on my head. How's this boy still alive, son? All these goddamn witnesses! Stop witnessing shit! This can't be happening. Now here come the fucking bounty hunters. I ain't got no witnesses now. Yo, it just be kicking off, son! Get your health up, Arthur. Get your health up. We need some cover. These boys coming after my ass. Yo, we'd be going down in fucking Emerald Ranch. Tactical retreat, tactical retreat. I ain't got my shoddy. And I'm stuck on this fucking bench. I'm stuck on the bench, I'm stuck on the bench! Can I get in here? Reload, reload, Arthur. Here we go. Tactical retreat, tactical retreat, get some cover, baby. Yo, I be getting stuck on so much shit. Alright. Area clear. No witnesses. No bounty hunters. Now let's try to take the goddamn train to the north. It just went crazy so quickly in this goddamn game. It's ridiculous, son. I accidentally crashed into another guy's horse. And it all just went to hell. Alright, let's go get our goodies. All these goddamn strangers trying to snitch on my ass. Let's take what they got. Bodies all over the fucking place. Then we're gonna take the train to this guy all the way in the fucking mountains and shit. Yo, it's crazy how quickly shit just goes down. 
Emerald Ranch once again is on lockdown again. There's going to be another motherfucker on horseback. I can see him down the road. He's going to come down. He's going to see the bodies. He's going to try to run snitch. I'm going to have to kill him. I'm going to have to kill this guy over here to the left. Y'all can just be cool. Keep your mouth shut. And everything will be gravy, baby. Let me loot this guy over here. Alright, looks like they're not witnessing nothing, so we should be good. Bunch of crusty-ass goddamn farmers with celery and beets in their pockets and shit. Come on, son. Come on. I guess these boys really don't want to witness nothing. Because they see all the fucking bodies. They see me looting the bodies, but they ain't saying shit. That's fine with me. Alright, let me see if we can take this train. I think it was Wallace Station that said I wanted to fast travel to. And we can head to the mountain. Yep. Oh my god! I'm sorry, Big Black. I'm such a fucking dumbass. I'm sorry, that's on me. That's on me. I'm sorry, Big Black. You good, though. You good. Yeah, Big tough horse. Strong one, boy. Big tough horse. Yeah. You alright? You are alright, baby. Greetings. Good to see you. Alright, sucker, send me north. It was Wallace Station. Traveling mercies to you. But we still got a ride from there. Great to catch a live stream. Thanks for coming, Morrissey. UK. Dallas, make sure you buy a heavy coat from a store before you go to the mountains because it's cold up there. Fuck that. Revolver Morgan can handle the cold. He ain't afraid of no motherfucking chili. No motherfucking chili weather gonna stop him. Let it be cold. I'm probably gonna get eaten by a fucking mountain lion. I can see that shit happening too. I'm just thinking about how bad things can be. Cause this game is... Oh, get off the tracks, Big Black! What are you doing? That's definitely Big Black. That boy is standing and grazing mighty close to them fucking tracks. Alright, let me see if I can get off this. I'm very tempted. This is a very nice little... Uh... <laughs> I'm very tempted to uh, rob this sucker right here. This is a very nice train. Let me just get off and get started on getting up north. Look at the fucking bounty hunters coming for me again. Boy. There's no rest for the wicked, I swear. I swear. Oh, we're not that far out. We're not that far out. I'm gonna take care of these bounty hunting suckers first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me get my shoddy out. Come on, suckers. You want a hundred bounty? You want a hundred bounty, huh? Let me get my dead eye going. I wish I had dynamite for these fools. Stop fucking shooting my horse, you piece of shit. Fuck out my face, boy. Y'all ain't got what it takes. Stop running up on me. I know my body count is going to be high as shit for this game. I assume most people probably just pay the bounties off. I'm killing them every single time. I'd much rather rumble than lose my motherfucking money. I got enough money to pay it off, but I'm not doing it. Just out of principle. I refuse. You okay, boy? Easy, boy. Punk ass goddamn bounty hunters. Alright, I need to keep my motherfucking eyes open because we are moving up into the mountains. Probably gonna be bears and cougars and wolves and shit. Yeah, gonna be a fucking bald right eagle there, trying to boy. come down on top of my motherfucking head. Okay there, boy. You yeah, alright, big black. You are all right, baby. <laughs> You're a good boy. Hope I don't fall off one of these goddamn mountains, because that's going to 
That's gonna be the end of me right there. Oh, I can see my health core going down because of the cold. I'll be all right. It doesn't take health away from you. It just takes the core away. And I kind of need to be eating my peaches and my shit. My peaches and my baked beans because I'm full on a whole lot of that stuff. I guess the cold weather hurts you if you ain't got the equipment to deal with it. But I think I'm kitted out all right. Damn, we ain't been up here since the beginning of the game. Up in the snowy mountains. Let me eat some baked beans. Get my core right. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh, what's going on over here? This boy lucky I'm coming up here at this time. Big Black is stuck. Come on, Big Black, move around, baby. Yeah. What's going on, partner? What you OG says? Oh God! Big Black! Sorry about that, Big Black. I'm sorry about that, Big Black. Gonna be okay. This is a bad area to be in. You better have some good for me, punk. You saved me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there. I came here to save your worthless life. I'm your worthless life. I almost lost my goddamn horse. I almost got eaten my goddamn self. I know that was the edge of a goddamn cliff I almost went off of. That could have been real bad. Big Black is tough, though. He all right. He all right. His uh, his stamina's not looking too good. Let me help help him out with his little uh, stamina core. You all right? You all right, Big Black? Let me get this goddamn wolf pelt. Damn, Arthur looking kind of fucked up. Got a bruise on the top of his eye. I guess you get that when you fall off a fucking cliff. I thought I was just going to ride straight down. That shit was real bad real quick. Right, let me see if I can go back up without dying. Yeah, no problem going up. That going down, though. No bueno. Let me, uh... Get my dead eye going back good. Let's see if we can get to this fool over here without any more trouble. That goddamn bird scared the shit out of me. It's probably not the best thing that I've come all the way up here. And now it's starting to get dark, so I can't see shit. What is that? What is that? Goddamn ram. Rocky Mountain Bighorn Ram. What's that? What's that? What's that? Easy. Goddamn, too much wilderness shit. That's this motherfucker all the way up here in the mountains. How you doing, boy? You all right, Big Black? You all right? Yeah. Like, I want to set up a camp, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid of setting up camp and getting eaten in my sleep. We are way the fuck up here, son. There ain't no more roads, ain't no more people. It's just snow and trees and wildlife. Dangerous motherfucking wildlife. You all right, Big Black? You all right? You all right, baby? Yeah. I know you probably cold, too. We'll be getting up out of here soon enough. As soon as we come get this goddamn Jim Boy Calloway story from this fool, we'll be all right. Hopefully he's more like Black Bell and less like... Uh, that dude Granger. Emmett Granger? Granger was an asshole. 
Alright, this boy got an entire fucking camp area. Flacco Hernandez. Del Lobo. Threaten or defuse? You don't want to die for Hernandez, do you? Take me to him. I got some questions to ask. Ah, okay. If it's just questions, he's up in the cabin. Watch your people. Stranger in the camp. He ain't going to be here long. All right. That's the way you motherfucking better be, punk. You better be motherfucking helpful for me. Helpful to me. For what I need. Give me the information I want. Watching you go real lazy. Shut up, bitch. Watch these nuts, punk. Blanco Hernandez! I don't want any trouble. I'm here to speak with you. About Boyd Callaway. I'm unarmed. That's a lie. I got two guns on my back. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> I just want to talk. My boy, Callaway. Uh, here's your message. Oh, it's just like that? Oh, they ran like punks. Bunch of punk ass suckers. I threatened them. They just gave me what I want. All right, let's uh hit the wrong button. Let's uh first of all, I'm gonna take your pistol. Now let's get a photo of this dead piece of shit. I came all the way up here just to talk to you. You gonna try to kill me for no fucking reason? All right, mission done. Flaco Hernandez. See what he got up in this spot. <clears throat> Set up camp if you're this damn paranoid. I guess I can uh I can rest here. This boy has some bullets, a treasure map on him. Got that ginseng elixir. Alright, we're done with the lock box. Let's get this bourbon. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can uh rest up here at his camp. This just looks like a pretty secure area. I guess I can't sleep in his tents. Let me see if I can loot this area. I'll get a little bit further away. And then uh then I'll set up my own camp. These boys leave any goodies for me? I'm trying to search their fucking tent. See if they got some goodies. I'll take some pistol bullets, some slug rounds. I'm full on shotgun slugs. That's right, I did loot the entire gun store and road, so I think I might be full on a lot of ammo. Alright, I think we're good. I think I got all that I can get in this area. Went up in all these tents. You know what? We had pretty much a um an uneventful ride up here. So I think we can just I think we can just keep it moving. We don't really need to set up camp. What's up here? This is the edge of the map. Oh, this is Sadie's I'm gonna go to Sadie's Sadie's ranch. I'm curious. I'm curious what's there. Time to go, boy. Yeah. We really ain't been up here in a while. This bitch was living on the edge of the goddamn world. Let's fill up my cores because my cores are getting low because of the uh, the cold weather. We'll keep it moving. No crazy animals really come out to get me, so I think my pumpkin stuff status is kind of going back. Just a lot of deers and elks and shit. You killed the whole camp? So that goes different for you 
based on what you're wearing. Might have been because I had the badge. Do they? They didn't shoot at me at all. They shot at you the second you walked up in there. This game is crazy with all the uh, different paths that can happen. Like I didn't even think. I didn't even really think about it like that. Uh oh, there's a dead body. There was a red blip behind me. What is going on? I see that. I see that X on the map. I want to investigate it. What's this? I'm gonna get eaten. I'm gonna get killed. What is this? What is this? What the fuck? Got us a map. What am I looking at here? I don't really be hunting the treasures right now. It keeps telling me to reopen it. We'll put that in the satchel for right now. Visual coordinates. We'll worry, we'll, uh, worry about that later. Can I loot this fool? That boy was living hard up here. God damn. Alright, let's get the hell up out of here. I don't like being in between trees where there's not a lot of visibility of my surroundings. Yeah. Like, I don't really worry about too much of the treasure hunting shit. I'm just worried about some of the side missions. And the, the main story. I'm not worried too much about collectibles at this moment. There'll be a time where I'll go back to do all of that shit. But for right now, we're just doing a, a couple of uh, important things. This is literally the edge of the fucking map, coming back to Sadie's Ranch. I just want to see what's left of it, if anything. Because we haven't been back here since the first mission. I wonder what it looks like. Alright. Damn, it looks like her entire fucking house burned down. I guess it would have. I don't know what I was expecting, really. Fucking, this was Micah's fault. The goddamn O'Driscolls burned, I mean, they killed her husband, but they didn't burn her fucking house down. I think she was hiding in the attic or something. And Micah was fucking with her and knocked the goddamn table with a lantern over. So I guess there's nothing really to find over here. Her husband's still here? No, I guess they moved the body. Who would have moved his body, though? I don't know. What the fuck? To think about all of that. And suck of the horses over here. In this barn. I guess we can't get back up in here. There's nothing really to do at the Adler Ranch. This shit has been completely destroyed. So I guess we can head back to town. And that's the Cotter vi village where we stayed when we were up here in the mountains. So I guess we can head back. I think I'm going to head into Valentine. Because I want to shape up Arthur's facial hair. Every time I go to Valentine is a mistake. But then from Valentine we can fast travel back to Rhodes. So we're going to head to Valentine real quick. Yep. I came here to see what was going on with the Adler Ranch. But looks like nothing really is... Uh, Nothing really is good over here. Let me eat something for my damn cores. Get my baked bean going. I be living off them goddamn baked beans. 
I was a scared punk ass bitch coming up here because I thought I was going to get eaten by a goddamn polar bear or some shit. Or a mountain lion. But it looks like this area is pretty much abandoned. There were some wolves. But, uh. Besides my bad driving, I really haven't suffered any injuries besides that. So we're going to head back down to Valentine. Hook up Arthur's beard. Make him get the prime and proper Revolver Morgan look. Then we'll head back to Rose. Because that's where the most of our story and side missions are at. I think we're done with West Elizabeth and this part of the map for now. Because there's not a lot of options up here. You alright, Big Black? You alright? There, boy. That's my boy. You alright, boy? Calm down. A lot of this part of the map is pretty empty. It's just scenery. I thought there'd be, like, crazy animals up here. Like, when I played the first Red Dead Redemption, the Tall Trees area, which is pretty similar to this, a lot of fucking mountain lions and bears and shit. You go up in there, you're gonna die. This area is not anything like that. You're a good boy. It's actually pretty deserted. Besides the threat of falling off a cliff, I don't think there's really much up here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus! Big... All right, calm down. Calm down. That would have been the absolute fucking end. That would have been the fucking end right there. Slow it down, Big Black. We are at the edge. We are at the fucking edge, boy. God damn. God damn. Yo, my nuts are tingling after that one. That was, that was almost catastrophic. I really don't want to die like that guy with the fucking map. Falling off a fucking cliff in the snow. If I die up here, there's no other horses. I gotta walk all the way back. That's it for me. You okay, boy? I gotta try not to be a fucking idiot up here. There's gotta be somebody who died up here and had to walk all the way from the fucking mountains all the way back. Like, I really gotta try to avoid that shit. I don't want to be that motherfucker. You alright, Big Black? You almost jumped off the fucking mountain, but you alright. Looks like we're finally getting out of the mountains now. The snow is starting to uh, turn into grass and wood area. Look at this dumbass deer getting run over. Don't you run in front of me, punk. Don't you run in front of Big Black. Oh, Jesus! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Big Black. Damn it. You really deserve a better motherfucker. Because you are the best horse of all time. But you really do deserve a better motherfucker controlling you. Because I'm just a dumb son of a bitch. You've had more hit-on collisions than you've ever deserved in your life. What the fuck is that? We're starting to see people now. We're starting to see grass and green lands. We are finally out of the fucking cold wilderness. The snow is gone. We're good now. We are all good now. Now this is the part where I get attacked by a fucking cougar. Now that my guard is down, now that we're out of the fucking mountains. Did I kill this dude? I killed this dude in the last episode. Stop staring at me. It's, it's, it's not my fault. It's not. It's not. I'm sorry. I'm, I, t I tried. Oh, oh I, t I tried. What are you doing, dog? So much pain. Let me put you out your fucking pain. Stay dead this time. 
Stay fucking dead this time. Crazy ass motherfucker. Now let's get out of here, big black. Goddamn preachers. Crackheads don't die. I shot that motherfucker up last episode. That's the second time I killed him. He probably gonna be back. This motherfucker probably gonna get back up to his feet. Alright, here we are. Back in Valentine. The land of foolishness. Let's see if Dallas can keep his motherfucking guns holstered in Valentine. Listen. I won't be really shooting my guns before motherfuckers start with me. I'm just here to get a haircut. Sell some of my goods at the butcher, but you know it's gonna happen. You know these motherfuckers gonna fuck with me. What are we selling? We're, we gotta sell these uh bear claws. We sell these wolf hearts. I keep the meat, but I really don't be cooking it. I usually use my um my peaches and my strawberries and my venison and shit, but. I keep my meat just in case I need to just in case I need to cook in an emergency situation what I will do is I'll come over here to the stables I'll get the horse care package so I can hook Big Black up and I'll buy some more horse reviver just in case no thanks to you no one else is gonna run this place Oh, I'm full on revivers. Guess I don't need it. So I guess I'll just get the... My main horse isn't present. My main horse is right outside, motherfucker. Hey, Big Black, come here for a second. Oh, what's up, puppy? You okay, boy? Goddamn coon hound. What type of racist shit is this? Come here, Big Black. Oh, no, 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 no! I meant to get on my horse. No, please, no! 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 No, this... No! I hate this fucking town. I hate this town. I hate this fucking town. I hate this town. I hate it! I meant to get on Big Black. They're just investigating, though. They're just... I hit the fucking triangle button to get on my goddamn horse but instead I tackled him now the fucking city's on lockdown I just came over here to get on my horse to take him into a fucking stable every fucking time son yo I hate valentine son the curse of the coon hound yeah, maybe 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 the goddamn dog was no bueno the dog was bad luck. Let me see if I can... Every time I come over I killed this guy the last time. I guess he stays alive like the mad preacher. I guess there's some side characters that just stay alive. Can I interact with stuff or is it just the city on lockdown now? Shut up, pigs. Yep, can't interact with nothing. City's locked down. Can I at least take a train out of here, son? Fuck Valentine. I just wanted to get on my horse, son. I accidentally tackled the guy. What type of shit is this? I think I can take the train up out of here. We're going straight to roads. Fuck Valentine. Fuck the city. It's not even a city. It's just a fucking shitty town. Damn. I'll be tending to you yeah, shortly. we can get the fuck up out of here. Let's get out of Valentine. We're going back to Rhodes. Well, fuck this place. You insist. Shoot the deputies. Shoot them all. Nah, we're not going to... It's too much. It's too much. Valentine is too much foolishness. I gotta get the fuck up out of here. I 
can't believe I can't do nothing in Valentine's. I'm, every time I'm streaming, like when I ended the last stream and I came to Valentine, no problems whatsoever. I was able to get my hair cut. I was able to style my shit, customize my guns, no problems. I'm doing a fucking stream, just trying to get my horse kitted out the proper way. All types of fucking foolishness. But we're out of Valentine. Fuck Valentine. I guess when I'm streaming and the bastards are in... I guess when you guys are watching, all types of foolishness. I think y'all have bad luck. It might not even be the clue now. It might just be y'all. Bullshit just happens for y'all fucking entertainment. But we're back in a decent city now. We got a couple of stranger missions. Big Black is here. Let me eat some cheese. Replenish my cores. Eat that goddamn venison. Let's uh let's do this mission for Jim Boy Calloway. I think this is the last gunslinger that we need to talk to. If you're a ticket holder for this service, please make your way to the platform. Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? We give hey, off no negative energy? You I'm might. For. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight, Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. All right, let's wait for this next train. I think the only reason why this doesn't happen to me in Rhodes is because I can't use my guns. Otherwise, I feel like the same type of bullshit that happens in Valentine would happen here. Look at my boy Big Black. He always trying to get close. Always trying to be near. Hold here, boy. I want you to stay right there, though. I don't want you to get on this track while this goddamn train is coming through. That's a loyal horse. That's a good horse right there. I gotta be a decent human being. I don't think I gotta be a decent human being. I just gotta not kill people. I think if I wanted to get in a fist fight, that might... I don't know. Can I get in a fist fight? I wish this punk ass train would hurry up. We gotta wait for it to arrive. It's taking its motherfucking time. No love to Sucker the Horse. I love Sucker the Horse. He just... He, uh, he hasn't been used in a while. That boy is back in the stables. I guess we can use him eventually. Because we've uh, maxed out our bond with Big Black, but... It's gonna be hard for me to separate myself from Big Black. Alright, is he up in here? Alright, I guess he ain't up in this car. He said search the bar car, so we gotta find the bar. Oh, here we go. What's up, sucker? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying it! I didn't shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! You childish as shit. You Mr. gonna throw a chair at me, motherfucker? Uh, Arthur the Gentleman picks up the goddamn chair and puts it in the proper spot. Now we gotta chase this fool on this fucking train? Where the fuck is he going? Crazy bastard. What are you doing, it fool? I do. You don't know nothing, Mr. Midnight. I want to talk. Don't do something foolish. You come for me. Oh, you want to fight? Oh, again with this goddamn... 
How do these motherfuckers stay wanting to fight, son? Y'all ain't got what it takes. Dumb bastards. Give me your pistol, bitch. Get a photo of your stupid ass. I just came here for a goddamn conversation. I want a quote for a book. Now you dead, because you a dumb bitch. Where the fuck are we going? Alright. We are way out from where we're supposed to be. Alright, we're gonna head back to Rhodes. Because I need a... I'm looking kind of grimy. And crusty. I need a... Oh, Jesus! Alright, so we got his pistol. I lost my cattleman revolver, but I think once I call Big Black, I can switch to my proper setup again. But we need to steal one of these horses, because I gotta get back to Rhodes. Get your bitch ass over here, punk. Give me your horse. Oh, God, there's a lot of fucking witnesses. There's a lot of fucking witnesses. Y'all ain't seen nothing, though. Oh, I can't use weapons in here. Yikes. Yikes. Whoops. <laughs> I just wanted a fucking horse. I just wanted a fucking horse. And they made a thing out of it. We'll hide over here. Why I gotta steal and kill from the black guys? Listen, race don't race don't come into it. I'm just trying to get back to my boy Big Black. If I gotta shoot a brother, so be it. Let me just wait till these suckers stop hunting my punk ass. So I guess you can start a little bit of trouble just on the outskirts of roads because I got a little close to roads and I couldn't even use my goddamn weapon wheel when the sheriffs are right there let me take a different path around I guess I can just take the train tracks back to get back into the town because that's the same way that I got out of town I'll just travel on the tracks I feel like I'm not in Rhodes. Maybe I was in... Who was I at? I was in the Gray's Plantation. That's what that is. I couldn't equip my weapon in this area right here. While I was trying to kill all the damn witnesses. Couldn't even take my gun out. So you can cause trouble. You just can't even defend yourself. Oh, what is this horse doing? This horse was trying to kill itself. Come on. A bit more. More horse. I don't need you to do too much. Just give me back to Big Black. You can go on about your life after that. Don't you buck me off, punk. Oh, easy, easy, stupid. Easy, stupid. Alright. What I'm going to do right here. Is I'm going to see what this punk got in his saddlebags. Oh, I can't even search the saddlebags because that's Robin. I can't even search the saddlebags. Like, you can't cause no type of trouble in roads. Like, you really can't do shit up in here. Christ. Howdy. First time. Fuck you looking at? I can't even antagonize strangers. I got to be kind and... It's kind of whacking roads. I kind of miss... What you gonna call it? For? Valentine. I get a hot bath. I'm gonna get a bath because I'm looking kind of crusty. I saw that in the cutscene with uh, Midnight. 
Arthur's uh Arthur's garb wasn't looking too good. His wardrobe was looking kind of muddy and bullshitty. I've been on the road for a while. Get us a nice hot bath. I'm a deputy. Oh, that's right. Do I keep saying sheriff? Same shit, really. That's the shit version of Big Black. That is no type of version of Big Black. That's just a random jabroni horse. Would you like help in there? I should have seen what type of food they had. We can get our grub on. I think my cores are full. So I really don't need them. Look at them goddamn titties. Come on in here, girl. That motherfucking left titty finna pop out. You'll be cleaned up in no time. <laughs> I'd be taking baths in this game just to see titties. There's no prostitutes in this game or a strip club, so I guess that's the closest that you're gonna come. I see, it feels like Arthur is starting to lose uh, the Shalashaska look. The beard is coming in too thick. I got a pomade in my hair. Might not even recognize yourself after this. I do like that look, though. Look at them two old biddies. So how's it going? Oh, I'm doing just fine. This boy is spread motherfucking the eagle while she's just washing him up. Where can a brother get a bath from a big titty white lady in 2018? Let me know if it's too warm. Alright, that's perfect. Thanks. And Arthur's not even married like John was in Red Dead Redemption. I just I guess that's just the, like the uh, the thing that they do in this game. No prostitutes or strip clubs. It's total degeneracy in, um, in GTA. Like, you can do whatever you want in GTA. There's some lines that Arthur and John Marston don't cross. All right, let's get the hell up out of here. We're looking fresh and clean. Let me pomade my hair to get the Revolver Morgan look going back. Is it tonics? What is this shit? Is it Kit? Might be Kit. It's Kit. Oh, it hasn't even worn off yet. It looks like it has. Maybe the hair is getting too long. It doesn't look like the way it did when I started this uh, the stream off. What can I get for you? Cracked wheat and milk, fried catfish. Let's get some catfish. You aren't planning for any more riffraff with any of those raiders. They got a lot of respect in this community, even if they can act up out of turn. Oh, that's right. The last time I was in this place, I was beating up some of the raiders. Oh, so you get a golden core every time you eat at the bar. So I guess that was worth it. Five dollars for some catfish. All right. What are we doing next? What are we doing next? Oh, we got a stranger mission right here. Let's see what this stranger mission is all about. So that was the last Jim Boy Calloway mission, right? What do we got to do for it next? We got to get a pipe for Dutch. This will continue at a later time. All right. Let's check out what this stranger has to say. You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. 
Man, it wasn't popular. Boy, a black dog, I'm undercutting proud of him. the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Now I'm the motherfucking sheriff of this town. I gotta do some good deeds. Come on, Big Black. Let's help a brother out. I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's end. Okay, thanks. I feel like Arthur Morgan, at his core, is a decent guy. Because in 1899, oh, Jesus, not a lot of dudes would be helping out color, colored brothers. This boy has no, like, he has no traces of racism or sexism in him. He, he'll he pop a motherfucker. He'll kill people. He'll extort people for Strauss, but, um, at his core, this motherfucker has no prejudices. Get my brother's wagon back. They did say that this city was a bunch of southern racist dudes. Old plantation guys. So I can see why they would take that guy's uh take that guy's wagon. While he just trying to make some shit of himself. And without any thought of getting paid, Arthur just makes the uh makes the decision to go get this boy's wagon back. Arthur is, at his core, a decent guy, even with me at the control. Dutch's gang is pretty progressive for its time. Yeah, because they got Arthur, I mean, they got Charles and Lenny up in there. Yeah. How you doing, boy? Arthur is too broke to be prejudiced or racist. Ain't no such thing. Yeah, you're all right there, boy. Richness or brokenness don't make the difference in whether or not you are a racist piece of shit. I think that's really just dependent on who brought you up and their ignorant mindset. Where's my boy's wagon at, punk? That's the wrong decision to make, bitch. They are fucking me up! Get in cover, Arthur. They hit me hard. They hit my ass fucking hard. God damn, what are they shooting my ass with? Yo, they taking mad help, son. Hiding like a bitch. Not as much fun as you thought, you dumb If you done, boys, I'll go. This boys is fucking me up, son. Well, I got the last laugh. Just like that old saying. He who laughs last, laughs first, laughs last, 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 laughs What's up, Mo Dooms? Welcome to the chat. Arthur, you like Arthur more than John? That's tough. That's a tough decision. I think they like on the same level of me. Cause I really like John Marston in Red Dead Redemption. Like I feel like after this, because this is the direct prequel of Red Dead Redemption, I feel like after I finish this, whenever that is, cause you know my ass don't be doing walkthroughs fast. 
But whenever I finish this, I feel like I want to go straight into Red Dead Redemption. Come on, Big Black. Let's go. Because that game is really good. And I always like John Marston. Like, all the Red Dead Redemption characters are really good. I like the, the, what do you call that dude? Was he a sheriff or a deputy? What the fuck is this? What happened? I was looking at the chat, what happened? The doctor's wagon was destroyed. How the fuck did I destroy the wagon? Alright, I'm confused. That fucked me up a little bit. But like I was saying before, the, uh, the deputy from Armadillo... I like that guy, Lee Johnson. That's my boy, Bonnie McFarlane. Big Black, what are you doing? What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. Yo, what's going on with this shit, son? This, I don't think my boy, Dr. Bernard, what is that, Renard? Whatever his name is, I don't think he wants his goddamn wagon back. I think this shit is cursed. Either that or I'm a fucking dumbass and I can't pilot this shit or drive it or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But like I was saying, all the characters in Red Dead, the original Red Dead, are pretty good. Nigel West Dickens. All them boys are off the chain. Alright, let me take care of these fucking suckers. And the people in this game are good as... Good as well. Right, who's this in the middle of the road? Get your ass out the middle of the road. I like Sadie from this game. Like you know, you know I'm in love with me. Did I say I'm in love with me? I'm in love with some Sadie Adler. Dutch in this game. Dutch is a piece of shit in Red Dead Redemption, but Dutch in this game. I like Dutch in this game. Like you can see why a whole lot of people follow Dutch. He's very charismatic in this game. I like my boy Charles, Lenny, even Sean. Sean talks a lot of shit. Like Sean, Uncle. Yep. There's a lot of good characters in this game. And I like the fee the feeling of a uh, community every time you go back to camp. You talk to everybody, see what they're doing, see how they're feeling. It's been a while since I've been back to camp. I need to get Sadie back her harmonica. So after we finish with this stranger mission, hopefully I don't crash and blow this fucking wagon up again. But we'll get Sadie her harmonica, and I think I'm gonna call the stream after that. Because we have the goal for coming up on two and a half hours. Please don't hit the tree. If I hit the tree and blow this fucking wagon up, I'm gonna be a little salty. A little motherfucking salty. Charles is a bat. Son. Son. What is happening, son? Yo, what is happening? I looked at the chat for one second. Trying to read a comment. I turned back. Got them horses in a ditch. Alright, the checkpoint's a little bit better. I'm glad these stranger missions aren't right. Because this is... This is an abysmal performance right here. This shit is sad. Now Big Black is out of range. God damn. Stay on the road, Daz can't drive for shit. I be taking peeks at the chat to see what y'all be saying. And that's why I fuck up a lot of the time. I'm gonna put the blame on y'all. Has nothing to do with me being a complete and utter dumbass. It's all y'all fault. Hopefully Big Black spawns next to me at the end of this cutscene. Because after respawning, he was out of whistling range. And that's no bueno. Oh shit, here we go again! Watch out, y'all. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out, watch out. Get out the road! Traffic jam. Get out the road. Come on, pink horse. 
That horse got ran the fuck over. Told your stupid ass to move. All right, Doc. Let me get you your motherfucking wagon. This shit has been no bueno for me. Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No, you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. Clodhopper? But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. All right, hook me up, hook me up. Got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. I'll do that. Appreciate it, Doc. Motherfucker gave me the hookup. Special health cure. So I guess we got the recipe for it. And Big Black did not spawn nearby. Which is no fucking bueno, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. So what I will do is I'll steal this horse. This Big Black at. All the way over here. Alright. So we gotta go get Big Black. Once we get Big Black, yep. we'll head back to camp. Get Sadie her harmonica. And then uh, we'll call it at that point. Oh, that's my boy. One-legged fool. What's up, one-legged fool? Hello, mister. Hey! <laughs> Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. But, uh, hey, what you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. Uh, so? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but <laughs> you don't seem too scared. I'm not. Yes, not. My man raised no punk. Pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> you better get out of here. <laughs> I can scarcely believe my ass ain't going nowhere. I'm the motherfucking deputy. Goddamn bounty hunters always looking for my ass. Government agents. They can get some. They can yum yum get themselves some. If they want it, they can get it. Free ninety nine. What is this preacher? As a sign of respect to our creator, we got them alarms just went off. What's up, dog? Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. All right. Continue, motherfucker. Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a mis- You cannot be in there. What is wrong with you? I guess let me just stand. I was trying to get close to get a better look, but I guess I'll just stand in there now. Enough. Let's see what the law says. You better not say nothing. You better not say nothing to the goddamn law. Come on, preacher. Don't be an asshole. I can't even use weapons. I can't even take him down. All right, it's time for me to get the hell out of here. Mm. Let me go get Big Black. Before I get in trouble. Can they really call the cops on the cop? I'm the goddamn deputy sheriff. I keep mixing the two up. I'm the deputy, I'm the sheriff. I'm whatever the fuck I want to be. Bury him alive? Can I bury him alive? I didn't see a mound of dirt to put on top of him. Fuck it, he got away with his life. Dutch said not to cause any trouble. I'm trying not to cause any trouble, and I really can't even draw my guns. Every time I go to the weapon wheel, it only lets me go to items, so... There's not much I can do in that town. In the way of foolishness and madness. Damn. 
Come on, Big Black, I need you. I keep getting saddled up with these fucking jabroni horses. Come on, Big Black. Boy about to buck my bitch ass. Come on, Big Black. Oh, God damn it! Piece of shit. Here we go. Come on now, boy. Alright, so we got Big Black back. Let us head back to, uh... Let's head back to camp. We'll call it an end once we give Sadie back her harmonica. Got us a plume of smoke right here. Let's see what that's all about. What's good, suckers? What y'all got going on right over here? Get lost already. Hey man. Be cool. Go on and get the hell out of here. I just be wanting to meet people and interact. Motherfuckers be drawing guns on me. Let me loot you. Let me see what you got. I be coming up in here all peaceful. People draw down on me. Is that because I'm dishonorable? If you're honorable, let me know if you can run up on these camps without any problems. Because every time I run up on a camp, motherfuckers just pop off. It's not going to make... That boy is cooking! That's the fuck he gets. I'm full on everything. Alright, let me get back on Big Black. Keep heading back to camp. Let me get rid of uh, this pistol. Get my revolvers going. Yeah. Let's get the hell up out of here. Let me see if I can keep heading straight down through the woods. Hopefully, I don't crack Big Black's head wide open on a fucking tree or something. That boy turned into a crispy critter. That boy, boy got some crispification for his bitch ass. Next time don't pull no motherfucking gun on me, punk. I was just coming to say hi. What's going on? Over here now. Not, we got some more stranger shit over here. I saw a little white dot on the mini-map. Fucking Lemoyne Raiders. Here we go. Y'all ain't going nowhere, son. Oh, what are you doing, bitch? Get off of me. Get your bitch ass over here, punk. So fucking dead. Alright, so we got an honorable action from that. I just came over here to kill raiders. Alright. Let's loot these suckers. See what they got. These boys are over here stealing from a goddamn train. The boys got some goodies on them. That's realistic, go. That's realistic, though. You just can't run up on fools. I mean, come on, son. Can a brother just come up to say hi? How you doing? What's going on? Howdy, partner. All right, let me see what these boys got on them. Let me see what's going on up in this train. I don't know if they've stolen everything. We can definitely search to see if we can find some goodies for ourselves. Got some bullets. Search this damn desk. These boys were half ass robbing the goddamn train. I'll take some brandy. We'll finish the job that they started. Hopefully the fucking cops don't come and come after my ass. Might not be too good of a look if the sheriff is robbing the goddamn train. I'm full on the health cure, so we'll keep him moving here. 
Let's see what kind of shit we got up in this chest. Got bullets. Guess that's all we got up in there. How the fuck do we get up in this cart? Goddamn Lemoyne Raiders. Up to no good. Got anything up in here? Looks like we got a box, lock box over here. Ain't shit up in here. A nice hidden lock box in the corner. You thought? Well, I thought rather there might be some goodies up in there. Maybe a couple hundred dollars for me. Ain't shit up in this spot. I guess they did rob it pretty good. I stopped them before they can uh get to the last cart. The only a small amount of things in there. All right, I think this train is empty. Let's get the hell up out of here. Head back towards camp. Took care of these punk ass raiders. Everything's all gravy, baby. Finally back at camp. I haven't been in camp in a while. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've done a single main mission. I think I've only done. It's Charles. It's me. It's me. Good to Called see him a dumbass. Be cool. Honest worker in camp. Someone's got to do it. Well, don't let me disturb you. Always got to be good to the boy Charles. All right, we got to find our girl, Miss Sadie Adler. A whole lot of icons on the map. It is nighttime, so she might be asleep. Let's see where she's out on the map. Let me see if I can find her real quick. Yeah, yeah, she's sleeping. We got a uh, advanced time to morning. Cause her uh, her little thing is locked. We came back at fucking midnight. That girl is passed out somewhere. If I wake her up, she's gonna be fucking upset. And you know she don't know how to fucking act. She will assassinate my punk ass. Alright, so we're gonna take a nap, advance time to day. Let's turn in our debts from the uh the Strauss missions. Alright. What's wrong now? I seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? You know who. Getting too old for you, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional. Again. Won't even look me in the eye, but you'll look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid. I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! So I guess these two are having a little bit of a falling out. Molly's getting a little, uh, getting a little jealous. I wonder who Dutch is looking at. They didn't say who it was. Alright, let me, uh, advance time right, right here. We'll, uh, Go to morning. Dow's looking like a creep. I was peeking. I was peeking. I was trying to see what's going on up in there. Alright. Morning time is here. Probably do need to uh, trim the beard up a little bit. Yeah, definitely do. Alright. Got the full-on revolver look going. Gotta find our girl, Mrs. Adler. Give her her Monica. Looks like she's right here. With our girl, Tilly. What is that, Abigail? Abigail. Jack don't need to see it. Ladies. Ah. 
All right, so I gave her her little. Uh, she didn't even say thank you. Goddamn, Sadie, piece of I shit. You like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Yeah. Goodbye. All right, so we gave Sadie her harmonica. And ladies and gentlemen, we have been going for over two and a half hours. I'm going to call an end to the stream right here. I want to thank y'all for coming out, watching The Madness and Redem Redemption 2. This is part seven. Uh, make sure you follow on Twitch. The link to follow on Twitch is under the video player. Also under the video player is the link to my YouTube and my Twitter. Follow on those as well. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in the next stream. I'm out this motherfucker. Peace.